Come give me your pants. When I do the search, I have to strip for people. I also compare myself to like those prostitutes. Uh, quite humiliating. Uh. P1 is a maximum security institution. It also houses inmates who are receiving violent intervention programs. You're not even in contact with my mom because of my stepbrother. If anything happened to her, how am I supposed to forgive myself? I will kill myself. I will just end my life. I was apprehended for drug trafficking. I didn't think I'm going to die. Then I saw my counselor, he told me that now they decide to give you an offer. Okay, you'll be undergoing a suitability assessment for community based program. Uh, it's okay, how are you? <laughs> oh, it's okay. All the best, huh? Okay, okay, Alright, okay. They called me to do the tattoo. Huh? My date of release was uh, extended for 21 days and four strokes of cane. Okay, Alpha Control, can grant three Bravo, day room four, three Bravo site for open jet, Tango. Someone who wanted to like provoke me, uh. provoke me in an indirect way, lah, because he would be like shouting, uh, insulting. Although he didn't say name, uh, but at the point of time, everyone knows who he's saying. Uh. So I tell myself, I have to endure. I am about to enter a community based program. So I will do my best to stay out of trouble so that I won't jeopardize my chances to enter the program. Community-based program let you go out earlier to serve your sentence outside. You can like have more freedom. Uh. Community-based program is a scheme that allows suitable offenders to serve the tail end of their sentence in the community. They can do so at home in a halfway house or at a work release centre. Last month, I went to this program placement panel to interview with the, the Spidano. He gave me two choices. One is the work release scheme, one is halfway house. He asked me to which one do I want to so I say halfway house. Because previously I was there before, so I prefer going there. But for now, uh, next few days, we will be transferred to B4. There will be uh, different courses for us to prepare to go out for our uh, community-based program. So in Cluster B, uh, Institution B4 is the pre-release centre. Inmates will go through uh, programmes geared towards the idea that they will be rejoining society imminently. And then it preps them for uh, job placement as well. David, can run? Six, two, three. Six, two, three. Okay, Bunking, you are transferring today to B4 okay. for your pre-release programme. Okay. You can pack all your items. Okay. Okay, come, follow. A few months ago, I was being selected for two month program for WRS which stand for Work Release Scheme. The Work Release Scheme allows the inmates to go out yeah. to work yeah. in the day and return to the Work Release Centre uh, in the evening. So before I go for my WRS, I have to attend some programmes that is in B4. So that is why I need to transfer. This one belongs... Library. Yeah, okay, yes. so you cannot bring when you transfer. Okay. So I take back all these books. Okay.
for transfer inmate, they are allowed to bring their three set of clothing and their blanket and some of their personal items. So whatever items not belongs to them, which they loan from our institution, they must return back to us before they are transferred to the another institution. So uh, I have to check whether there is any hidden items here and also no any additional pockets. Okay, they are able to stitch and have a small pocket inside to hide things. Lah. You draw, is it? Yeah, basically this one. <laughs> this one motivation quotes. Okay, so Bunkin, all these things are not supposed, okay? But uh, anyway, the content is positive, but I still need to get the approval. Okay. Okay. Thank you, so once I get the approval, then I will update you lah whether and you can bring along or not. Okay. Thank you, Sergeant. Okay, Shamil, uh, 01 transfer. Uh. IPC can open level 7, step 1 to IPC. Level 7, step okay, 1 to IPC. Okay, come. Okay, what's up? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Come, Ken. Outside is more challenging. Yes. So you need to be more patient. But you can do it. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grayson, you are going to B4 today? Get ready to transfer. Okay, John. Okay. How far control? Okay, grant cell 4119. Cell 4119. Come, Grayson, lay out your items. We'll do some checks before you transfer. Okay, John. You can start off by showing me your library books. So, uh, our library book is visit books. these three. So basically, we are looking for any unauthorized items, anything like written messages. You can share like whatever information that they have here to the inmates over at B4, or any sharp items like needles that they can bring over to the other institution. This one is Buma. Buma. Your pen and your three photos as well. Three photos. So whatever that's inside your property card, you can bring it with you. So all of this that is not inside your property card will confiscate it. Yeah. Okay, so property card is basically a record card for the inmates of what they have in their cells other than the prison issued items. They have their personal items, any medical like this uh, asthma pump, we can jot it down on this property card. Okay, so these are the items I'm going to confiscate. You can pack your items and get ready to transfer to B4. Okay. okay. The, every inmate are uh, the most disliked thing in prison. A lot of things like, cannot confiscate then wow, very angry. Uh. But we cannot do anything. <laughs> Can't wait to go to B4. Uh. Looking forward for it. Because uh, go there, will start my journey to release already. Uh, yeah. For this community-based program, actually I didn't expect I would get it. Uh, because I did have this major offence before, the tattooing. Uh, and somehow, because my cases are all violent, so I thought that uh, I might not be eligible. Uh. Hey! 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 Uh. Okay, gentlemen, I know you're happy. Uh. Okay, relax. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, just do a check first. Ang yes, Grayson, yes, give me number. 24354 2019. Okay. Tian Boon King, ah, yes. give me number. Uh, 25913. Okay, thank you. Okay, two of you all, today is your big day. You are going to Institution B4 Purity Centre for vocational training. Two of you all, any issues or complaints? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, I wish you all the best in your B4. Okay, take care. Okay, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Are they sure to Shoki can open front slider, please? In Institution B4, this is where we house inmates who are nearing the end of their incarceration.
We believe that the physical environment plays a very important role in helping them shape their mindset. Our walls are painted with murals and inspirational quotes in various languages. So other than the physical infrastructure that is different, the pre-release centre here offers very different items from the rest of the correctional units. Under the Progressive Privileges System, we focus a lot more on release items, so things like uh, wallets, cover footwear. So what we hope is the inmates, upon their release, they can bring out these items such as the wallet to help them start on their new lives. All the way to the blue table. Grayson and Bunking. Yes, sir. Okay. You all are both from B1, right? Yes. Both single man cell. Okay, down here before, I think you all should know yeah, we are a eight man cell. So the matter for falling is such that five person in front, three person at the back, seated down with shirt on. In B1, you come from the cell uh, with shirt on? Uh, no. no shirt. Okay. Down here, everything is shirt on. Except for you go to yet. Say that's all. Any question? No, sir. Okay. I think both of you will be going to the room too. It's be the same cell. Can? Okay? Shall we? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> left, turn left. Okay, look for 611. Pyros to Pravin. Open for me, cell 611. 611. Okay, people outside. Yeah. What the popping chimu meal are you? Meal, yeah. peanut butter. What the suit? No, sir. Then, give me some more. Ah. We are waiting for this day. Well, you together the same journey. Yeah. Then, wow, well, was like everything we can share together. We've been saying like we can get together in one cell, no? Then we can go together to program, no? Then yeah. But God's like, plan, ah. Yeah, God's plan, ah. Yeah. Yes. Now I sleep beside him. Now we can sleep beside him, like husband and wife. But of course, like, the husband is the wife. Hey, 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 hey. Bro, yes, bro, yes. Today is our first day here, ah. So now we observe first, ah. Uh, feel the atmosphere, how is it feeling, then how try to adapt. La. For B4, our recreation yard and day room is one hour. Whereas at B1, our recreation yard and day room is two hours. First day, I can say most of us weren't exercise when doing that. We are trying to get what we will be doing. Is there any other programs or what? So we are slowly get the timing. Because rather than we do our exercise, it is suddenly halfway, there's courses, then we have to go out, wet, sweat. So we have to manage our time now. Some of them, the way they look at us, like we are both from outer space, like alien. Maybe because we are still new here. This is my new cell with my classmate. Ah. All of us doing, taking diploma. This is my second semester, my first module. Now I'm reading about uh, writing an email. Ah. Because tomorrow I got this test on email writing. Ah. I feel, feel a, a bit nervous, ah, but I still remember some of the things that I learned during my level ah, during the English lesson. I will try just to do what I can do ah, tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm going to do a recap of the business messages topic before we start the, the test later on, okay? So, 
What are the situations when we have to write business messages? Give me the three. Exactly. Prison School offer CET Diploma, which is our continuing education and training in business practice, international logistics supply chain management. So for the outside students, they will have uh, about two and a half years to complete the course. However, in prison school, the curriculum is compressed into one and a half years. But the rigor wise uh, is still the same. They still need to complete the same number of assignment and presentation. And the qualification that they get here is exactly what the public run is getting. We partner this diploma with uh, Nian Polytechnic. Look at this sentence, this writing, which makes a better sales letter. Can I get someone to read out for me? Do you want to try? ABC Bank is the longest established Singapore bank, formed in 1932 from the merger of three local banks, the oldest of which was founded in 1912. If you ask me to compare between diploma and whatever, I think diploma is more relaxed. Because we learn the module for one month, then we sit for the test. Then we will move on to the next module. But for all level, everything is packed into nine months. Then we have to remember everything. Here you go. Right, for your test today, it's one and a half hours. So, uh, all the best. Good luck. You may start. Every module, right, the test will be 20%. The group project will be 35%. The class participation will be like 10%. So it's already like 65%. Then the rest will be the individual project. Let me unlock cell 611. 611 for class. Over. Just stand here to roast, Harry. Come to roast, guys. I'm attendant. Grayson? Yes, sir. Bungeng? Ah, yes, sir. Previously, everyone, uh, every time from point to point, I have to do the street shirts. I feel like uh, prostitute. La. But over here, we don't do street shirts. Somehow, gain back a bit ego. La. Anyone? I never call? All here? Huh? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Here we come. Before is much more relaxed. Usually, we just need to walk ourselves to the door. They are not escorted compared to the other institutions. So we try to give them as much autonomy as possible over their daily lives, which incarceration would have taken away from them. So definitely, there's higher risk of inmates being able to move around freely and in larger groups. Uh, but we have found ways to deal with it. And one of the most effective ways is actually through the rapport built with the inmates. So we explain to them why you shouldn't jeopardize your release. All this is intrinsic motivation to stay on track. Freedom. Some of you say, OK, I'm like a bird, right? Why? Because I want freedom. You very freedom, true. because. You are here, you realise uh, I, I don't have the freedom. Now I'm going out. How can you use freedom, this value in you, to cope better outside? Anyone can give an answer, can uh, suggest? So to be more lawful. Lawful, OK. Uh, I choose to follow the rules of the land. So I'd like you to take a while to write your own values. Things like freedom, I want control, I like beauty, whatever comes to your mind. How do people abuse inner peace, their value? Probably they take drugs, maybe. Because why? They cannot cope in life, they're stressed out. Some people, for example, they want progress, they want to work, work very hard, take ice. Three days, don't have to sleep one. Exactly, it's my experience because I also take the drugs. Subsequently, it actually dragged down my life. Bun Keng, what do you write for your values? Family, to spend more time with them. Good. Okay, uh. Character. Be more responsibility and stable. People always like a responsible person, right? And stable. Yeah. People want from me. Yeah, correct. Want from you, not. But, but you want to be that also? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I wrote family first because this is something I lost my life. 
do the drugs. I miss my family the most. So now I hope that I can regain my relationship with them. Alright, so uh, Grayson, how about you? Yeah, for my freedom. Uh. Freedom, okay. Spend more time with loved ones. So you are free to have time with them. Yeah, not like now you cannot have time with them, right? Okay, so set of external strength, skills, achievement, people you find strength from and places. Even places can be strength. Where it keep you safe, give you the peace you require. You can actually think of, let's say, what kind of external strength you have. We are now studying this module at our own strengths and how they will help us. So for mine, the first one is be hardworking so that I keep myself busy, will not have time for me to think about drugs, all the bad things. Uh. Then second will be people from whom I find strength uh, is my family. Uh, those who motivate me and support me in everything I'm doing. Uh. And the third one is places at which I gain strength uh, is church. My anger management issue make me get into a lot of trouble. Uh, like a few charges is because I can't control my anger. I didn't think before I act. Huh? All the strengths it will remind me whenever I do anything. Uh, it's really very important that uh, my family Whatever I do, I'll think of my family first before I take any action. All right, uh, pens down. Please put your paper and your test paper each on one side. I'll come around to collect from you. So, how do you feel about the test? Uh, okay, uh, doable. Uh. Doable. Familiar? I mean, good thing you go over through again. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, ho I hope uh. the recap helped yes. all of you. All right. I will be marking this uh, and I will give you feedback on how you did uh, by the end of uh, the term, yeah? Uh, Teo, Teo. Now is my lunchtime. During lunchtime, we uh, receive Teo, white bread, and our food plate. Uh. Okay, now I'm going to check the foot plate. To make sure that what's supposed to be there are here. And sometimes there are surprises. How's the food so far? Uh, getting from bad to worse. Seriously, seriously, I don't, I don't bluff you. Uh, this is why I say surprises. You see the gravy is very watery. So, if like this, I will tell the sergeant. And he will, he will replace for me. So you will replace for us? Uh? Uh, our class we from 8.30 to 12 noon. Uh. Then after that we have our lunch in class for one hour. After that we will go back to our cell or go to yard or go to the computer lab. If you ask me to choose lunch in class or lunch in cell, I'll choose in class. Because there's TV for us to see. There's a lot of us, we can talk with each other. Because only how many person inside the cell. I think it's better to sit on the table and eat on the floor. You just eat at your own comfort, relax. Here is an eight-man cell. Uh. Now we have to share the cell with another four of us, uh, including of Boon Keng. Uh. Uh, in this cell, the toilet, we have two cubicles, which is also much better for us because we have more people where we don't need to queue. We can just go two by two rather than one by one. Like that. Prison, there's this type of like protocol. Like, like, a way that today I like, wake up five, you wake up at 5.30, 6.00, then we'll take turn by turn, use the toilet. The difference between this cell and uh, one-man cell is one-man cell, you can do what you want, but here you have to like follow. You must respect each other so that in the room you won't have any conflicts. Uh, as for eight-man cell, actually, we have to sleep here. One, two, three, four, five, and here six. Seven and eight. Okay, then um, actually, prison they say this part, this 
position is uh, what they call condo. Uh, it's a condo like because nobody will affect us. Only two persons sleeping. Yeah, this is my area. So I always like lie down here. I read my books or taking a nap. Everything I will be like staying at my place. Uh. Uh, like everyone pays their own space, they will do their thing at their own space only. Uh, like they won't go into other people's place or what. Yeah. Naturally, when you put uh, more people in a confined space, people who are strangers to each other, everybody has to find a way to deal with each other. So this is where their patience gets put to the test and where the skills that they learn gets put into practice. And this will also help them when they go back to stay with their family or if they decide to stay with some of their friends or to go to the halfway house. This is when they have to interact with people that they don't get to choose whether they want to interact with or not. For me, I feel it's a downgrade lah, because it's not easy to stay with so many type of people, like different type of character. B4 is much noisier than B1. To me, if for people who are releasing, it's not a very ideal place lah, for me lah, because I don't really can reflect my past. Lah. So on B1, I actually can reflect more so and I can plan for my uh, going out. Lah. Okay, so the position that you're being interviewed for is a guest service agent position. Okay, guest so... officer agent is means reset, right? Yes. I actually uh, feel very stressful uh, these few days, uh, preparing, then uh, expecting what would they actually ask me. Uh. Assalamualaikum. I know you have the right not to help me. I just want to say a few things. Firstly, about my mom. I'm typing to my cousin, telling him to reach out to my mom because I was not in contact with my mom till today. So I think the things that is in my control is just to write a letter and let my cousin know what are my worries. Hopefully, my cousin can help me to contact my mom. Whether he want to help, it's beyond my control. One thing I feel sad because I did a lot of mistakes with my mom. I just pray for my mom every single day that he's well. Last time, I did not have much of freedom. Now, I'm doing CU attendant. I think I have more freedom. And I've been treated like not in prison because the community that we are working in, we mostly outside doing the day room. CUA stands for Correctional Unit Attendant. So basically, their job is to assist us with the daily operation. Basically, if they are just good behaviors, we will just choose them as a CUA. They must show us that they are actually a team player. Their positive mindset, their willingness to change. This is the most important criteria. When? Okay, come. Sit here now. I have to teach you for the laundry. Okay, so we gather first, everything later then we sort out. For pens, you don't need to fold nice nice, make sure the number out right. Just like that. You need to know the method of folding shirt. You like that, the number behind you can see, fold like that half. Half, half, then half, just like that. We need to remember every single inmate number and inmate name because every number and name represent each cell. In our day room, there's 50 over people. So we need to remember 50 people, number and name. 
so we never send the clothing strongly. The first two months working as CEO attendant, there's a lot of struggle. Lah. Some of the CEO attendant attitude, lah. maybe they are longer in this line, so I'm new, right? At first, we might have a little, little talks, lah, like, you know, I disagree with this thing, disagree with this thing, but I start to learn new things and open my mind freely to new, so I don't feel that stress. Lah. Now we put everything at the table, so the rest, lah, we just lay out like this, so they can see the number when they collect. Okay, now we go inside the room. Put down first. We do on top first, then we do yeah. below. So this is how I do. Eight one above is all this side. Eight zero below all that side. So now you stand here first. Uh, for CUA, they have to work in a very fast environment. They have to play their cards right. Lah. And I think that's one of the toughest things to do. Lah. They have to be in the group books of the officers and also the group books of uh, inmates. They used to call inmates putting their things inside other people's laundry bag. Then the CUA helped this build. Lah. If you caught smuggling, you cannot work for three months. Working is an opportunity. It's a privilege, side. Or else you'll be in cell. So I think that's not a good thing. Lah. I think peer pressure. I mean, in the cell, tell them, hey, can you help me pass this? Lot? So to them, uh, doing smuggling is a very simple thing. Lah. But to us, it's a big thing. We need to uphold discipline. Three, nine, two. Three, eight, four. Eight, four, don't it? You back a bit. I will throw to you one. Since we are two person only, right? Then this is the fastest method. Three, eight, eight. Good morning, everyone. My name is Irene. I'm from Yellow Ribbon, Singapore. All of you are attending job interviews today with Yellow Ribbon Registered Employers. And I'm a career specialist. What I do is to provide career guidance and arrange job placements for inmates prior to their release. Well, some things I want to let you guys know uh, is during the interviews, don't be slouching when you're in front of the laptop. Take your time to speak in a clear and concise manner, okay? Don't be in a rush, because sometimes when the connection is poor, they might not be able to hear you well. Okay, do a self-introduction of yourself. What are your previous job scopes? What are your skill sets? Okay, so the employer can get to know you a little bit better. Before we set up the job interview, Yellow Ribbon Singapore will interview the inmates with regards to their interests, also their minimum salary. Then that is when they will look at their pool of employers. So Bong King has two potential employers who are interested in him. So for this two interview, uh, I actually uh, feel very stressful uh, these few days. I will try to uh, rehearse myself, uh, like what question they will actually question me. So then after that, I will answer myself. Uh, if let's say uh, the interview us like, then after we see their offering is not to our expectation, can we like reject all of them? Then let your reschedule another appointment or that. Of course, you have a choice to whether you want to decline the job or not. We will try and schedule for another interview for you to attend, and after that, you need to make the assessment to see whether you are suitable and whether you will fit the workplace or not. If let's say we really cannot secure any job, then uh, are we still entitled to go for our work release scheme? or we will be whole inside the uh, prison. Okay, so for your current scheme, uh, you will require an employment to be in place to this work release scheme. So as much as possible, you should secure an employment before you are in place to the program. So there are also other candidates who have interest in the hotel industry. So if you have any doubts, do feel free to check in with employers during the interview as well. Got any questions, just let us know. Before we commence the 
virtual interview. Uh, we will conduct a one-to-one -one briefing where we will share with them individually what are the companies and the positions that are matched to them uh, on the day itself. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so Boon King, uh, yeah. I just want to give you a very quick briefing on what job position that you will be interviewing for okay. later on. So the position that you are being interviewed for is a guest service agent position. Okay. okay guest so, officer agent is means we said, uh, right? The yes. So so you'll office. be mainly in the front desk okay. uh, and doing uh manning the lounge counters. Okay. okay. So the salary uh it's between thousand eight to two thousand. Okay. Is it alright for me to ask for higher, like maybe two point two? Because my experience is like 10 years past, so I don't know, is it still usable? Yes, definitely, you can negotiate the salary with the employers based on your experience, your skill sets. Uh, I got two interviews, so you share with me with the first interview already. So the second interview is... Okay, so for the other interview, it will be happening in the afternoon. The job scope is rather similar to the first one. Having a work right now, I feel that it's important because I say that I want to actually build my own family. Uh. So having a job and to stable myself is the first step. Hey, Grayson, come up for your visit. I waited so long for this face-to-face -face visit. Okay, have a seat. So how's everything so far, guy? Okay? So far, so good. Do you have a request to make for a phone call, is it? Yes, to my daughter. Okay. Yet to be approved by our OC because it's every three months. Mm -hmm. So I think by next few days it should be approved. Mm -hmm. I just want to find out that if she's doing okay or what, then is she in contact with my mom? Because I think I did write to my cousin but there's no response. Okay. So my another way out is ask my daughter. Mm -hmm. Kai is a very family man, so a lot of his requests is uh, mostly regarding his family. Uh. Of course, he's working as a CUA, so he has a bit of allowance. He will approach me and ask me stuff. Can you help me put that request you know, to send home money for my daughter? Just looking forward, if let's say my house is still there, mm -hmm. I just take my daughter to stay with me and continue living and working. Uh. Because I used to have a deal with my ex-wife about my daughter, so from one Till the age of 12, she look after. Then from 12 to 21, I'll be looking after her. I just hope that I have patience with myself to go through whatever it is. Don't look back the things that already passed. The past will never be in your future. You don't know what's in your future. So learn to be better and just don't repeat the same mistake over again. Right now, I'm actually waiting for my first interview. I'm actually very eager lah, because they are actually well known, so I probably can learn something from them in the management or uh, skills lah, they have. I feel very anxious. Lah. I worry that I lost for words lah, and couldn't express myself uh, well. Lah. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm actually uh, 
Uh, you can call me Daniel lah. Daniel Tim Bung Heng. Uh. So currently I'm uh, incarceration for uh, drugs and a uh, few more like, like cheating and theft lah. Uh, I'm releasing on this coming May 23rd. Before all my uh, crime life lah, uh, I do whole uh, sales uh, position. So account managing and actually canvassing and actually uh, uh, call those prospect and actually do presentation. Uh, I'm a friendly uh, and joyful person lah. So I laugh a lot lah. So yeah. I find it like very, very fantastic. Uh. I find it very happy uh, because very long never interview already. It uh, just bring me back to normal, uh, like normal person. Yeah. If uh, given to me this situation, I will actually ask the angry client to actually sit down at our lunch or whatever, and we will try to uh, seek the kitchen side. So if let's say if they have any like drinks or what, then we can offer to them. Uh, before that, we can let them know. I think I perform okay is because whatever the question the interviewer told, I still managed to answer them lah. So I mean, hey, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. So I need to. CU3 control can kindly unlock 611, cell 611. Okay, Grayson, come up for your visit. Okay. Today, who visit you? My wife. My wife. Last visit. <laughs> the last visit before you go? Yeah. Wow. That's good, that's good. I waited so long for this face to face visit. Because previously, due to the COVID situation, we only allow televisit for every month. What? 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 My community based program, uh, I was given about six months. So they were sent me to a halfway house, which is uh, the helping hands. Uh. So I'll stay there for like um, three months. I have to work in house. Uh. Driver, mover, or carpentry, or depends on how they assign you. If I go to halfway house, it's like the first month I can't go home. When my wife is free, they will bring them down to visit me. Yeah, so only after one month, then I can have my home leave like every Sunday. Then on that day, what do you want to do? Before I go to the house, I'll take you. Then that day, you will go to the house and wait for me. I don't know. It should be in the morning, because I'm going to go to the house for about 1 or 2 hours. For my wife, I know it's not easy uh, because she needs to go through a lot of things all by herself without another one to support her or this. So we cherish every minute uh, to every second to share what we want to talk. And it's actually quite meaningful because it's the last visit for me, for us. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. I'm feeling very excited, uh, very excited, very anxious also, uh, like going to see my children all. Yeah. Right now, I'm waiting for my second interview. I'm more calm now. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Daniel. Uh, I'm interested to work in Hotel Line. Uh, for my second interview, they actually never really asked me much. Lah. So they just asked me uh, if I can fulfill the requirement that they given. Lah. So for me, uh, I'm okay. Lah. I'm prepared. Lah. I think I'm very open uh, for you guys to let them know lah. Currently, I'm incarceration because uh, end of the day, uh, I, I'm already coming outside, so I also prepare to face the challenge. Lah. So whatever it comes, I will handle it uh, wisely. Lah. So I believe that if I cannot manage the my colleague, I believe I cannot manage uh, service the customer also. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me which one is my preferred one, uh, probably I will choose my second interview because uh, the second interview, the one who interviewed me, I feel more connected in some way with him. Uh, then I believe he can pass more knowledge to me. Uh.
after finishing, I feel uh, good and relaxed. Uh. But now, currently, again anxious, uh, wait, uh, waiting for their reply. Uh. Now I change to my home clothes. I feel show up. Very happy. Welcome to S2. From now onwards, all of you will be supervising. You are no longer inmates. You are here for your community-based program. So I'm hoping that my eldest daughter will come up. Very excited. Very anxious. My heart like, want to jump out of there.